Hello guys, I am Engineer Muhammad Adnan Khan and you are watching my YouTube channel Sevology. In this video lecture, we will discuss the considerations for site layout plan. Site planning is very important for smooth running of operations of different departments such as where to install a crane so that it may not affect the operations of plant and other equipments. As you can see over here, this is the radius of the crane. As you can see over here, it should be cited that it cover the all the premises, all the uh, cordoned off area of your project so that you should not have to move the crane once it is installed at a place. So the planning is very important when you set up the site layout. Uh, so other equipment like excavator, concrete mixers, etc. So adequate planning of construction site is mandatory to avoid any inconvenience and hazards during construction phase. So let's discuss the points which should be considered for site layout plans. But before we start our today's topic, if you are new to my channel, you are requested to please subscribe it and press the bell icon to get video updates. So let's start our today's topic. First of all, what is the need for uh, planning of construction uh, site? Uh, first of all, it is the orientation of structures, orientation of structures and temporary facilities, okay, to utilize available space economically. Planning is mandatory so that you can uh, uh, you can utilize the space more economically and to minimize movement of construction workers and equipment. Like I said, the position of crane okay and the image of contractor it also depicts uh, reflects the uh, image of a contractor that how uh, good how good he is in planning the site of a construction and also it is needed for health and safety on the site now for our purposes the planning officer now it is a duty of the planning officer that he should consider the following while preparing plans for construction first of one is labor relations which means that safety at workplaces and routes to and from them health of the employees and their welfare subcontractors interest relation with the general public rules and regulations right of way etc so these are the few points which should be kept in mind by the planning officer to be considered for while he is preparing the plan now items to be considered by the planning officer first one is existing services the position of existing services should be shown on the plan such services include sewer drains manholes inspection chambers etc or it could be water mains and distribution pipes or electricity cables above or below ground other services include gas pipelines, telecommunication cables and the depth and location. Now this is the most important while planning uh, the construction site. The depth and location of each utility should be obtained from the concerned authorities. Second point is holdings. Accessibility, cost and local permit requirements should be considered for the following that is holdings that is for site security and noise and dust prevention to adjoining properties as you can see over here these holdings should be installed on the sides of the construction site so that uh, other sites uh, which are adjacent to your construction site should not be affected by your working or it it, uh, it could be fences or support to adjacent buildings access and exits the location of site will affect access and the types of plant and materials to be used will affect the size and number of exits considerations to be given to the following first one is number of access points allowed by the concerned authority it means that you have to contact with the concerned authorities to which route should be used for your uh, machineries or your equipment uh, you should contact the concerned authorities for example highway authority Second point is access and exits road size for vehicles and plant movement that the size of the road should be adequate that your uh, equipment or your vehicles could move around easily. Material movement including permanence of timber, steel, 
कंक्रीट एसफॉल्ट एटसेट्रा रैम फॉर मटेरियल डिलीवरी इज आल्सो वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट एंड डायरेक्शन ऑफ ट्रैफिक फ्लो मेथड ऑफ प्रोटेक्टिंग एग्जिस्टिंग फुटपाथ्स द फोर्थ पॉइंट व्हिच शुड बी कंसीडर फॉर साइट लेआउट प्लान इज साइंस एंड नोटिसेस द पोजीशंस ऑफ साइंस एंड नोटिसेस टू बी डिस्प्लेड ऑन साइट शुड बी शोन signs are erected for the following reasons first one is to direct plant and material deliveries for security and warnings to employees and public for ease of location of facilities and offices to show the parties conformance to the contract and for good public relations the notices should be placed at strategic locations to ensure their visibility that the signs that you are placing should be visible from all the sides typically notices are site and name boards normally directed by the engineer direction boards including access and exits transportation routes administration areas and offices signs and parking areas and for bulk material storage areas reporting notices to delivery truck drivers danger notices ke folding fragile roofs etc overhead cable warning notices safety switches fire alarms hard hat area notice notices unsafe plant and equipment notices and fifth point which should be kept in mind for site concentration uh, site layout is accommodation offices should be kept away from the work site to prevent to prevent nuisance to office workers all accommodations must conform to standard accommodation is needed for site staff operatives and subcontractors a site office should include offices reception conference room toilets and washroom facilities and canteens etc stores and compounds areas for and size of the following should be shown on the site plan stores for bulk materials stores shed curing shed for concrete test cubes cement and other essentials for example petroleum gas and explosives seventh point is workshops filters shop and work area carpentry shop and machinery area reinforcement and bar bending area concrete batching plant pre casting area and electric shop now temporary services which should be provided on the site should be kept in mind while considering while planning the site layout plan temporary services include water supply electricity gas telephones and drainage plant and equipment position two types of plant and equipments are usually considered first one is static that is bachek plant tower cranes wood working machines scaffolding hoists wake bridge cleaning and wash points for movable plant and movable vehicles include forklift trucks and dumper compressors cranes and pumps etc third but not least other consideration which should be kept in mind while while planning the site first one is vehicle parking area material stock piles areas and security lighting positions and pedestrian passengers and footpaths last one is traffic lights other considerations should also include water disposal area or dumps roads to be sealed off or closed protective measures for existing trees and other features for example shrine near the construction site or mosque or any other religious building 11 existing building and completed areas site layout plan can benefit greatly from the optimum use of existing building for storage completed areas in the new facility may also be utilized to advantage especially in confined areas such as city areas emphasis on site layout plan is most advantageous to improve efficiency that's all for today in the end you are again requested if you are new to my channel please subscribe it and press the bell icon to get more video updates